So tonight we're following developing news in Churchill. A man injured there during a shootout with police. It all started with a call for a domestic dispute. Amy Wattis is live with more on what happened next. Amy. Well, good evening, Ken and Susan. And traffic here on the Parkway East was at a standstill during this SWAT situation tonight. PennDOT confirms the traffic was shut down in both directions between Churchill and Wilkinsburg as a precaution because the home where the gunfire was going off is literally right next to the parkway. The sound of gunfire in the air in Churchill as SWAT officers try to get a 50-year-old man inside of a home on Harmain Road to surrender. He is a Navy SEAL, a war veteran. Um, they said there was high-power weapons in his home. The Allegheny County SWAT team was called in because of those weapons, but before that, medics and Churchill police responded. A woman in the home told police that man assaulted her. SWAT formed a perimeter around the house, and multiple police agencies were on scene trying to get that man to come outside. But he didn't listen to officers, and officials say he ended up firing at officers twice. At about uh, 6.57 p.m., uh, some additional shots were fired. Uh, eventually, uh, when he did uh, show himself armed to our officers again, they fired and they did uh, wound the subject, uh, cautiously entered and took him into custody. None of the officers the man fired at were injured. Police say the man was using a rifle. Officials say tonight's standoff caused a large disruption of traffic. At one point we did have to close the parkway when the initial shots were fired because of the close proximity of the, the house and the fact that uh, we knew he had long guns within the residence. The Churchill entrance ramp to get back onto the parkway was also blocked off to traffic. After several hours, the scene cleared up and neighbors still in disbelief. I just know that he's a it was very neighborly to me, a nice guy. I'm praying it all ends well. Now, both that man and woman were taken to local hospitals to be treated. That woman, she suffered some minor injuries. That man, he was uh, shot twice by police, so he was taken to a local trauma center to be treated. Police tell us he will be facing charges. Meantime, the Pennsylvania State Police are investigating because this is an officer-involved shooting. We're live tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.